The following department and divisions report is for the January 21st BTC Notebook. Brad Smith, our manager of campus safety and preparedness, encourages instructors and staff to view a six-minute video that offers information on how to deal with an active shooter situation on campus. The video can be found at nationalterroralert.com and is entitled, Active Shooter, What Can You Do? Brad also reports that he will be posting monthly around different campuses posters to highlight information on what we can do in case of an emergency. The admissions department continues to focus on the fall semester of 2014 with regular visits to local high schools and engaging with many local community organizations. Feel free to contact Barrett Bell if you are aware of a specific contact they should be making. The department also continues to reach out to non-traditional students. Before the holiday break, they visited Seneca Foods in Janesville, the food processing company that offers tuition reimbursements as an employee benefit. The admissions staff is also identifying other area employers with a similar benefit as part of their recruiting efforts. This semester, the admissions department will once again sponsor breakfasts for area high school counselors and community leaders. The Counselor's Breakfast will be held on February 12th, and the Community Leader's Breakfast will be held on February 20th. Technology Exploration Days are still in the planning stages, but the department is aiming for March, with events being held on all four campuses. On the academic side of things, Dr. Diane Nyhammer, BTC's Vice President of Learning, told the district board last week that Blackhawk plans on offering 26 associate degrees next fall. BTC will also offer eight less than one year technical diplomas, 11 one year technical diplomas, three two year technical diplomas, 24 certificate programs, five apprenticeship programs, and six non post secondary offerings. Dr. Nyhammer noted that these offerings are subject to change as the college continues to evaluate its programs for the fall semester. Finally, the Marketing and Communications Department is asking for your help in gathering information on alumni, material that will be used in the department's new alumni newsletter, which debuted last fall. A link to the first edition of the newsletter, the BTC Alumni Connection, can be found on our website. We are looking for items of special interest, for example, awards, new family members, new jobs, new businesses, promotions that you are aware of regarding former students. Don't worry about writing the information, just email the basics to Gary or Vic in marketing. If you have the contact information for that alum, please include that as well. If you can get it to us by Friday, January 24th, we should be able to include the information in the spring edition of the Alumni Connection. 